right now, I need to spend more time at home with my husband and our young son. So I've decided to leave the talk. Five years after that announcement, Julie Chen Munvez is currently on a promo tour for her new book, But First God, an audio memoir of spiritual discovery, and has claimed in several interviews that despite what she said in that announcement, it was not her decision to leave the talk. I was forced to leave because two of my co-hosts said that they didn't want to work with me anymore and that um, if I came back to the show, if I returned, that they weren't going to show up. Oh. So I, I hate yeah. hearing that. You hear the wows from Sherry's audience. And yeah, Sherry, I hate that you didn't provide any context or backstory as to why her co-host would have made that stand. I know exactly why her co-host made that stand. Wow was also the only word that Inu's host, Justin Sylvester, could say in response to Julie saying the same thing on their show. Wow. Yeah. It's one thing if you feel like you've had the rug pulled out from under you. Yeah. I felt stabbed in the back. I mean, Julie, for a coworker to go to their boss about an uncomfortable work environment, you go to the boss, you wouldn't go to you. The boss is the one that has to solve it, so it's not stabbing you in the back, Julie. But yeah, I'll provide some backstory here. So in July 2018, Julie's husband, Les Moonves, the head of CBS at that time, was accused of sexual harassment and intimidation by six women in an expose in The New Yorker by Ronan Farrow. And I'll say this right now, Julie is not responsible, not to blame, not at fault for her husband's actions. Now when those allegations broke, Julie didn't say anything publicly, and the talk was on summer hiatus, but Big Brother was on. And when the next episode of Big Brother aired, Julie signed off using her married name for the first time ever. I'm Julie Chen Moonvez. Good night. Five years later, Julie explained that decision to Extra this week. I never wanted to speak publicly about um, what had happened in my, in my family, in my personal life. And I thought this is one powerful way of setting the record straight and quieting all the false reports. So that's the only public statement that Julie wanted to make and would make about the allegations, the whole situation. And that's her choice, that's her personal choice. She has a right to her privacy, but I mean, this is a very public story. And the nature of Julie's job on the talk is to give her reaction, her opinion, her perspective on the news of the day to share. This is right in the middle of the Me Too movement. They're talking about this constantly on the show. Almost every day they're talking about this on the show. There are two words that are not in the book, and that is Me Too. Your husband left CBS at the height of the Me Too movement. What do you think of the movement and this idea of believe her? Well, I think that's getting off track from But First God. Um, we all go through hard times in this world, in our life, and mine are not over just because I found Christ. I think we need to keep our focus on him. If I'm her co-host, I feel like I can no longer do my job effectively. I feel like I'm coming off as not being honest, not being forthcoming. I'm not having the talk. And I did have a similar situation to this on the show that I worked on that there were allegations made against my company. I was part of that, but I was very conscious of acknowledging it on air because I was one of the faces of the company and of that show. So I was very conscious of, you know, not coming across as ignorant or sticking my head in the sand. So I openly acknowledged it on the air day after day after day. And there was one interview that I did with someone who was accusing another show of uh, mistreatment, but there were parallels there. And when I did that interview, I made sure to acknowledge the parallels because it would have looked silly if I didn't. Um, and that was an interview that was taped and then edited and then aired on TV. I didn't see the edits. I didn't see it air on TV. I became aware of it once it was put up on YouTube and I saw the comments that were starting to be put up there that were saying, you know, how you're a hypocrite and how can you not acknowledge what's happening in your own house, so to speak. And I watched the edit and all that stuff had been cut out of me acknowledging that it was happening at the company that I was working for. All of that was cut out, so I looked like a fool. So you can bet there was a conversation that I had after that. So that's the thing, it's like, it's gonna affect her coworkers' ability to do their job and do their job effectively and gonna affect how they look on air. So yeah, they went to CBS and said, if Julie's not gonna acknowledge this on air, I'm like, how am I supposed to do my job effectively? I look like a fool. It's, it's like, she's gotta acknowledge it on air or I'm gone. It wasn't a situation of out of nowhere being like, it's me or her. No, it was, if Julie's not gonna acknowledge this on air, I can't do my job. I have no doubt the bosses at the talk had a talk with Julie and said, if you're not gonna acknowledge this at all on air, like, I don't see as a show, I don't see how we get around that. 
So ultimately, it was Julie's decision to not talk about it on the talk. And so she had to leave the show. Like, how do you do that job <laughs> where you're supposed to talk and weigh in on topics, but you're not going to acknowledge you're part of one of the biggest headlines right now? Like, I mean, it's just a nature of that job. Like, I mean, when Kelly Ripa wasn't on air for, like, was it three or four days? When Michael Strahan announced that he was leaving, when she came back, she had to acknowledge it on air. When Ellen's show was accused of mistreatment of staff, she had to acknowledge it on air. She had to talk about it. Like, there's just no way of just... You can't skim by that. Julie Chen had to talk about it in some kind of sense. And on this book promo tour, Juju Chang on Good Morning America did go there with Julie, as she should have, because Julie talks about it in her memoir. It's not off limits. It's in your book that you're promoting Julie. But did you ever ask him if these allegations are true? But that's not what we're here to talk about. But of course, yeah. I know my husband. You know, I know my husband. But once again, Julia doesn't have to answer for the allegations against her husband. Absolutely not. But I mean, she's talking about those times in her book. Those are fair questions to be asked of you, Julie. But I don't like what's happening here with this promo tour, that you're trying to turn this into that you're um, a victim and making it seem like your co-hosts stabbed you in the back. They didn't stab you in the back. You weren't going to do your job anymore, so how could they do theirs? What are your thoughts?